Sorry, just fixing my eyeliner. I'm Azalea. I'm Ryan. You don't look like a Ryan. No. <laughs> well, what do I look like then? Not sure yet. That's not from here, is it? No. You gonna snitch? <laughs> no. <laughs> I made it. Just like the kombucha poured into it. That's the uh, fermented drink, isn't it? Exactly. Looks good. Are you happy with the batch? Very. Tell you more about it, but we haven't got much time. <laughs> so, the kombucha is homemade, and the goblet is homemade. What else is homemade? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories, you make it all from scratch. Started selling my stuff online during lockdown, and it grew into a full-time business. Wow, well, that's really original. Thanks. Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. What aesthetic is that? Call it what you want. I've heard hundreds of terms, kind and unkind. What brings you speed dating, Azalea? I am self-employed in a company of one, so the only man I see day to day is my gecko, Anton. Big up Anton. I don't like the apps. People are very judgy on there. Sorry to hear that. It's OK. I've been judged my whole life, so where I can actively remove myself from that environment, I do. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right, then. <laughs> well, then, um, what else can you tell about me? You're definitely an Earth sign. You seem quite grounded and stable. <laughs> I could be the most volatile person going for all you know. The fact that you're not outright denying it suggests otherwise. <laughs> Just three minutes to go, everyone. Three minutes. I know. It's going very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology, then? It gives me structure. I analyse my behaviour in the context of something bigger. My main star sign is Scorpio, which I think really suits me. <laughs> and um, then based on when and where I was born, my rising sign is a Sagittarius, and my moon sign is a Libra. What's the difference be between those three? Your main star sign is your sun sign. It represents sort of your desires in life, and your rising sign is how you present to others, and moon sign's what you like deep down. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't really know about the other two, so. <laughs> Work them out for you, but <laughs> we haven't got much time, so. <laughs> so then, what makes your sun sign so Scorpio? We aspire to be brave, loyal, honest. The negatives? Jealous and secretive, but it doesn't really apply here. <laughs> Do you relate to them as animals as well, I guess? Aren't they really aggressive? Only when threatened. But don't they eat each other, though? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. And this is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, I was wondering... No, um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. I feel like it's been pretty even. Can you just... It really hasn't, so I want to know more about you. Fine, fire away. So, uh, Azalea, I have noticed you have a couple of tattoos. I do. Want to know about any of them? Choose wisely. Some stories are better than others. Um... The pentagram, is that a satanic symbol? I mean, I've dabbled in satanism, but its wider interpretation is quite genteel. It's about shunning the rigid restrictions of society. Mm-hmm. And it's not about sacrificing babies. You're safe. And the tattoo. I just, um, I like the shape. It's all about those clean lines and sharp edges. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. That was the, um, kind of interaction I was hoping for in this. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, me too. Uh, what is your handle? I'd love to check some of your stuff out. At Azalea Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A -A Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A Shadows, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, 
Uh, there was Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet. Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just very different, but it was really interesting because it wasn't like any of the other dates I went on. Was there chemistry over kombucha? Yeah, I guess you could say there was a little bit of chemistry. Yeah, I could see it going somewhere. Hmm. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. fixing my eyeliner again. That is okay. Um, I actually thought that I was the early one for once. Uh, I took a look at your social media. It's really cool. Especially, like, all of the stuff you've been making. Thanks. I just noticed the blitz of likes. It was pretty full on. Uh, so, um, have you had many orders to process this week? Lots. Plus, um, a celebrity client requested a piece. I turned it down. Why? That's a great coup, surely. They demanded to skip the queue. I owe too much to my core clients to drop them for an impatient prima donna. Anyways, Mercury is in retrograde, so hassle was expected. Tell me about your week. So, um, Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. What about it? I have heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know much actually about it. It's an optical illusion where the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. It happens three or four times a year, and it basically just messes with technology and life. <laughs> I can't say that I've noticed too much disruption to my life. <laughs> Aside from me entering it. So, uh, do you want a drink? Love a drink. <laughs> Hiya. It's hot in here. I know, isn't it? <laughs> it's a cool place, though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, cheers, cheers. Do you know what I've just realized? Speed dating is great because you jump straight into the face-to-face -face so it eliminates any possibility of false advertising. Mostly. I am a saleswoman, though. Oh, so you're a good liar. Well, we put that to the test. Let's play a quick game of two truths and a lie. <laughs> I haven't eh? played that in years. OK, OK. I'll go first. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I can speak three languages. My cousin was my prom date because nobody asked me. And growing up, I had a guinea pig called Chuckles, which is the lie. That is quite a spread. Uh, I don't know which one I want to be the lie. Um, the date's the lie. There is no chance that no one asked you. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're correct. Um, but no one asking me was true. But I went with my best mate, Danny, and you know, we had the best time out of everyone. So, no drama, just good vibes. Exactly. Danny was the best boy at school. <laughs> Should I be worried about Danny? <laughs> He's gay, it's Christmas. Your turn. I have a third nibble. I have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I am a king fisherman. Tough ones. The nipple is the lie. <laughs> I just can't see it. Are you imagine me topless just there? Uh, purely for the purposes of the game. Don't flatter yourself. You say so. <clears throat> Correct. I am a dual nippled man. <laughs> I'm really impressed the Kilimanjaro one's true. Mm. <laughs> Thanks so much to achieve those physically and, you know, mentally demanding feats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an amazing life experience. Um, uh, the fishing one is also true. Let's not talk about that. Okay, round two. Go for it. Okay. 
my parents met on the set of a porn film. My real name isn't Azalea. My body count is more than 20. Is there one you want to be the line? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Very carefully. The name one is a lie. You, you could only be called Azalea. I agree, but it's actually true. No, what's your real name then? I'll explain another time. I've gone by Azalea for a decade now. Body count wants a lie. <laughs> so your parents have met on a porno set? They weren't starring in it. Oh. <laughs> Don't get too excited. OK, basically, my mum was a makeup artist and my dad owned the studio it was being filmed in. If you say so. I've seen it. <laughs> Definitely not in it. I can't compute this. <laughs> Your turn. I have octophobia, which is a fear of the number. I need 10 hours sleep a night. I collect novelty coasters. The coasters is the lie. It's the most boring. Oh, can't all be as interesting as you. Yawn. Was I right? Sorry, that one is true. I'm chuffed. I was actually bluffing. I'm a collector myself. Of? Clocks. Small, handcrafted ones. Recently got this amazing cuckoo clock from Freiburg in Germany. Cool, well, we'll have to uh, compare collections sometime. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> so, um, Soctophobia, the line? Well, there's only one way to find out. Just. Say the number. I want to go about this by legitimate means. That one is true too. God, it's a bit inconvenient. Yeah, so different forms of the number have a different effect. So if I hear it said out loud, it's, it's just a little bit irritating. But if I see it written down, that is worse. And then the bigger it is written, it, I just get, I just get like really uncomfortable. Eight. Why did I tell you? Madness. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was a junior clay pigeon shooting champion. Mm -hmm. um, I have more piercings that can't be seen than can. And I'm allergic to bullshit. Is this a trick one? I don't know what you're talking about. The clay pigeon shooting one is the lie. I, I can't really see you being into guns. Correct, I'm totally anti-guns. However, uh, as a kid, I was forced into clay pigeon shooting and I was a phenomenal shot. Well, that sounds like an interesting childhood. Wait, so which one's the lie? The piercings, as much as it may surprise you. Did you, um... Have some good mental images, though. No, 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 I didn't even give it a moment's thought. Can I loop back to the fact that your name isn't actually Azalea? I'm not a habitual liar, I promise. Just ask me anything. You're deflecting. <sighs> I said I'd explain another time, and there's plenty more to learn about me anyway. I want to know what you are really passionate about, Azalea. Good one. Doesn't get asked enough. Um, I've dabbled in all sorts, so whilst my business is what I enjoy at the moment, I know it won't last forever. You get bored easily? No, it's just I'm still searching for my true passion. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I hope you find it soon. Thanks. So... Lad! Where are you? Why did Lad. you get that drunken place Lad. like this? Sorry, love. Looks like you could use a bit of extra colour on that Halloween costume. <laughs> Oi! Prick! That's not on. Are you really gonna come at me like this? Yeah, it's Elliot. Leave. I can handle myself, Ryan. Listen to your boyfriend, Lady Dracula. you got a big mouth, haven't you? Yeah, I'm very witty. Apologise to me, right now. Or what? I'll get you kicked out. Ruin your big night out with the lads, unless they've abandoned you on purpose. All right, sorry.
Thanks for letting me handle that. No worries. as well with the pentagram, so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> turning down celebrity clients, so I'm sure you can afford it. Thank you. So that was really cool, Ryan. Thanks for the game, too. Yeah, no, of course. Um, can't really believe you're still around after some of my truths. <laughs> Are you okay getting home? I'll order a cab now. Fancy waiting with me? Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. So who's gonna get the third date? <laughs> no commentary, please. <laughs> He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh, okay. Hello, um, Azalea. It is Ryan speaking from the other night. Um, I, how are you? I'm uh, very good. Um, I was wondering if you would like to uh, maybe get some dinner, some drinks or something? Yeah? Yeah, yes, okay, uh, great. Um, okay, I will send you a message. I know a cool bar we can go to. Sound good? Yeah, okay. Uh, bye, Lilia. Yeah. She said yeah. She said yes! You're not going to be terminally alone. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. I was hand washing your jumper. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to do that. And you aren't late, by the way. Why do you retract it then? <laughs> uh, who's that on your screensaver? Uh, that is my best mate, Misha. Oh, you guys look cute together. No, 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 no. It was never like that. How come? She's gorgeous. I don't know. It was just never a thing. There's always a reason, even if it's a simple one. Hey, we just didn't fancy each other. We really are not each other's types. Why do I feel bad for you guys? <laughs> oh, don't. Um, it was a great foundation to start off a friendship. Like, we are unequivocally unattracted to each other. Well, luckily for you, attraction is very subjective. Yeah, I mean, one woman's trash could be another woman's treasure. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. Uh, food. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. What are you thinking? They got a lot of vegan options. Mm -hmm. oh, organic vegan tapas bread. Fancy giving it a whirl? Why not? Get it. Do you cook? Yeah, quite a lot, you. No, never. You're gonna love this. Mm. It's my favorite. What's the verdict? Remind me of everything. We had patatas bravas. Fried vegan cheese balls, vegan empanadas, garlic and pasty stuffed mushrooms, and my personal favorite, Padron peppers. To be honest, I, I, I am actually a little bit surprised I didn't even miss the meat. 
I don't think I'll go back. Welcome to Team Vegan. How did they get that much flavour into the empanadas? Well, I think I tasted some sautéed mushrooms, mm -hmm. some onion, pepper, and a shit ton of herbs. <laughs> what? Do you know what the herb was? It was, there was... I think it was like basil. Oh. I thought it was coriander. It's definitely not coriander. <laughs> I don't cook very frequently, so... Tastes like soap. Obviously, most countries' cuisines are meat-dominant, but I feel like our generation are going plant-based in a meaningful way. Yeah, I mean, for us growing up, most of the dinners we would have had at home would have been meat. Same. Beef, pork, veal, lamb, rabbit, you name it. Bloody oysters. <laughs> <laughs> very fancy. Yeah, they are. My real name, it's Tallulah Fordingham. Fordingham? Uh... Yeah. That Fordingham. I see. Your family is a massive deal. <sighs> Tallulah wanted to disassociate from them because Azalea is an activist against everything they stand for. So, are there any causes that you're passionate about? Yeah, but what exactly about them didn't you like? The list includes elitist attitudes, questionable political involvement, and a cherry on the top fox hunting. Yeah, um, I would say that I, I'm, I'm very passionate about the environment, and particularly anything to do with the climate crisis. I would go to a lot of protests, uh, demos, campaigns, anything that is actually aimed at affecting change. I'm surprised I haven't seen you around. Oh, well, I will keep an eye out for you in the future. <laughs> so. Do you take part in public disruption protests? As in blocking roads? Yeah, like lock-ons, all that stuff. Yeah, but only recently. Um, I, look, I hate that we have to screw over normal people, but things have gone too far, so I, I don't really know what else you can do. It's um, unfortunately the only way to get the decision makers to pay attention. Well, ideally. The anger that they feel towards us will be redirected towards the people who we're trying to reach. Absolutely. Do you fancy something sweet? Not for one, but I might have a nibble of yours if you're cool with that. No problem. What's for dessert? Yeah, the, um, the pineapple sorbet. Pineapple? Mm. Something on your mind? Say so what? <laughs> Never mind. Um, most people would have gone for raspberry or mango. Well, most people would put meat in empanadas. So, um... I'm pretty into you, and um, these past couple of dates have been the best I've had so far. I was hoping you felt the same way. I'm pretty into you too. That's a relief. So what do we do now? You can kiss me if you like. 